A few days ago, I created a video on how to generate PDF from React component using HTML to Canvas and JS PDF. How it works is basically the HTML to Canvas take a screenshot of the React element and convert it into an image. And then JS PDF we text the image and place that image into the PDF so we can download it. So this is the result, right? Because this is an image, of course, we cannot select the text right but this approach is works well if you just need to generate a really simple pdf so you have to use react pdf package so i'm not showing you how to use that but the problem about react pdf is you have to styling with your own pdf as you can see this is the example right the syntax it should be have a document that wrapping the page and inside the page we have like a view and uh, image and etc and then here as you can see we have to styling the page as you can see here the background and the padding and the font size and etc so basically we cannot use uh this styling right here as you can see we're styling this with styling css right we cannot use styling css styling here and screenshot and convert into pdf we cannot do that so we have to styling the pdf with this uh right here right we have to styling that so i'm going to show you how it, this is works so let's go to the project here all right so first let's create the invoice folder inside a component because i want to put all the style all the data all the component inside the invoice folder so inside in here i'm going to create a file called invoice2.tsx and then let's just generate rfc i'm going to give a name invoice2 like this just import it on the app.tsx right here so let's just import it and uncomment this comment this invoice and then now we just have this invoice on the browser so let's first install the react pdf package i'm going to copy that name and then open a terminal let's just paste that right here npm install react pdf slash rendered and then what we are going to do next is basically for the styling i'm going to putting that on another file so let's go to invoice here and i'm going to create style.ts um, right and then just put the style right here and of course i'm going to export that and just make sure we import the style sheet from the react pdf slash lender and next we are going to create the document so i just want to copy all of this to make it fast let's go back to the invoice too and then i just want to paste that right here so basically this is the document that we have right i'm going to call this um invoice pdf like that and how do we render this invoice pdf component into the div right here so basically we can use a component come from react pdf the component that we are going to use is pdf viewers so this is works on the web only so we're going to use that so inside this invoice too i'm going to remove that and then let's wrapping inside another div and in here i'm going to use pdf viewers come from the react pdf and then inside that i'm going to render the invoice pdf component like this so inside this div i'm going to set the class name the width i'm going to set that to full which is 100 percent and the hick i'm going to set that to maybe 750 pixel like this okay so i'm going to save that and let's take a look what we have so this is what we have so basically we are going to set the width and height inside the pdf viewer to 100 percent so we can do like a width into 100 percent and also the height into 100 percent as well let's try to save and see what we have so as you can see this is the pdf viewers so we have this this section and then section two because as you can see here we just have this section one and section two so i'm going to render the invoice on the top of the invoice too so we can see the component that we are going to like copy and paste first we are going to create the header here right so i'm going to basically go back to invoice too and then just remove all the view right here right so now i'm going to create a view like this and then this view is basically the header so i can use style like this so it equals to styles dot header so basically my idea is really simple like the invoice component here as you can see um we create a div right this div right here is the view that have the header class name header style i mean and then inside that view we have another view right we have div here and also the div right here so that's what i'm going to do right here so we can say like a view right and also down here we have also another view like this invoice and invoice number and also for the another view here 
it's going to be the company name the uh, street and etc so this is basically will be coming on the left side of the header and this is this is will be coming on the right of the header so let's try to create this header style on the style.ts right here first i'm going to just remove all the page right here and then i'm going to change the background into uh, let's say white also the color of the text i'm going to set that to a black color 262626 to to six. and also for the one family i'm going to use health Fiteka. and for the font size i'm going to set that to let's say 12 like this and also the padding 30 pixel for the top and bottom and also 50 pixel for the left and right so basically you can do like this 12 pixels it works by the way but of course you always can do like a string and you can put 12 pixel like this it also works the same so now let's styling the header let's go back to the invoice 2 right here as you can see this header i'm going to set that as a display flex and i'm going to move this view on the left and this view on the right side so how do we do that it's i'm going to paste the styling right here so basically i'm going to set the flex direction to row and justify content space between and add some margin bottom to 20 pixel let's save that and this is what we have right so next let's styling the title of this invoice i'm going to zoom in this voice right here so the way we styling that is just add some style name so right here we can do like style set equals to uh we can do styles dot maybe title like this as you can see we get error because title now it doesn't have a property on this styles object so we can add title and then we can add any font size right here we can do font size to maybe 24 and then if i save and then now as you can see it's more bigger nice and also because the invoice and the company name is uh have a font bold as you can see here i need to create another style just for a uh, font bold the way we do that is we are going to use font family called helvetica bold because when you use like a font wake into for example you can do bold like this it's not going to be works because as you can see right here basically react pdf is doesn't support that font wake so to add a wake of the react pdf you have to use a font family so this is the example right here just use font family and help with the car bold that's you add the bolt on the phone so let's try to implement the text bolt on the uh, company name right here i can do like a style so it goes to styles dot text bolt and let's see what we have as you can see the company name is bolt and also the invoice i'm going to change that to font bolt as well the way we do that on this text invoice right here if we have a style right here and we are going to add another style we are going to use um array like this and then i can do comma and i can say styles dot text bolt so now this two style will, ap will apply on this invoice as you can see this is will have title style and also will have the text bold style next i'm going to add a space between these three texts the way we do that it's super simple it's whatever you want you can do like a margin top on this right here you can do margin top on this right here maybe we can use a display flex so the way we do that is i'm going to create a space y style and then add the display flex and flex direction column and add the gap to pixel so let's try to implement that space y style here into the invoice so i'm going to put that right here on the pattern of the three text right here so we can do like style set equals to styles dot space y so as you can see now we have the space right so next i'm going to create this build two right here so i just want to copy and paste come from the final project i'm going to paste that right here so it is basically that view that have this text build two and then client name and then client address and etc so the space y we already have that style and now i'm going to just styling this build too so i'm going to add like a margin bottom into maybe five pixels so let's go back to style and then i'm going to add build to margin bottom to five and now we have space right here or you can uh, do whatever you want you can do like um 10 and as you can see this is what we have okay so next let's create the table the problem about table is we cannot create a table with just react pdf we need to have another package to handle a table in react pdf so we are going to use this package ag media react pdf table so i'm going to copy that and then go to terminal just hit enter 
because in the normal react pdf we just have like a view a text and we don't have ability to create like this table and then th td and etc so this package will help us to create a beautiful table like this so let's just try to use it i'm going to just copy this table and then just go back to the invoice and then just paste it right here i'm going to make a comment render the table and then just paste that right here and of course we need to import the table come from the react pdf table and th td and also tr right here just import all of those and just run npm run dev again and as you can see this is what we have just really simple table so basically i just uh, copy and paste the data.ts right here that have table data description quantity and etc and also the total data right here okay so next thing is i'm going to basically paste the table right here as you can see this table have style table and we have the style table header and then also this td with style td and map through that table data right here so i just want to remove the table here that we copy and paste come from the documentation so now let's save and let's take a look what we have so now let's styling the table so let's go back to the style and then first thing first i'm going to add a border color to this color here and add a margin 20 pixel on the top and bottom let's save and let's take a look what we have okay great we have the space here and also for the table header right here i'm going to change the color so let me just paste the style right here this is basically we'll change the color to this color right here so let me show you all right the color is apply so now i'm going to add a padding for all a td so as you can see on this invoice everything have a td right here right on the heading on the body so now let's go back to style and then i just want to paste this td padding to six pixel and as you can see now all of this have a padding six it's more better right cool so next let's create this a uh, total right here i just want to copy and paste come from the final project and just paste that right here so basically uh, as you can see here we create the view and then we're adding style totals so i'm going to just go back to the style here and then grab that name totals and then here i'm going to do background color to red so i'm going to save and as you can see this is basically all the totals views right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to push all the content to the right side so i can do like a display flex and then align item to flex n so now all the content will be coming on the right side that is because as you can see here um, inside the uh, display of flex we are going to add a view right and we add the minimal width right here this is the minimal width right you can add inline style like this or you can put this style or another file it's, it's do the same thing right and then also done inside in here inside the minimal width we map through the total data and then simply we set the text right here into the left side just text right here right and also the another text into the right side and as you can see here if the item dot label is equal to total i add style text bold otherwise don't do anything that's why this total have a bold and this value have a bold as well so this is what we have as you can see look pretty nice so now the question is how to download that so basically you can just click this one here or just print out but I like to create another button to just download the PDF like this. We can do that as well. But first, I just want to add maximal width to XL and MX Auto to put all this div right here into the center. So this is what we have. All right. So let's add a button download on the bottom. So I just want to copy and paste come from the invoice right here. That styling with styling CSS. Just copy all of those and then just paste down here. So now we have that button. So I just want to remove the on click. And then as you can see down here as you can see we have download pdf nice so let's just add a margin vertically to maybe 10 so we have space here we go for me the height of the pdf is um, too much so i can just decrease the value into for example 500 pixel like this so this is much better all right so now the download functionality is not works of course let's go back how do we download that so let's go back to react pdf and we have a component called pdf download link this is that we are going to use so i'm going to copy that and i'm going to wrap this button inside of that component so let's do pdf download link and then let's put the button inside the 
PDF download link as a children. So now we can send a props call a document. The invoice PDF has come from the right here that we created, right? And also the name of the file, which is invoice PDF. So I'm gonna save that and just make sure import from the React PDF. Save that and then now let's take a look what we have. Let's scroll down and this is what we have, right? And then if I click download PDF, as you can see, it's download the file. And if I click that, this is just a normal PDF. And of course, you can just select and do whatever you want in this tag. Yes, that's it for this video. Hope this video helpful and see you guys on the next one.